Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. That's right, coming to you from FEMA Region 6, former Texas. Broadcasting worldwide, and by admitting we've been captured by the globalists, we have a chance to turn it around. It's illegitimate. But if we never get around to admitting how much trouble we're in, we have no choice. It's the globalists trying to conquer Ukraine, trying to suck Spain dry, trying to suck Iceland dry. It's the globalists that have conquered America to a great extent and now want to finish it by taking our guns. That's why I'm against what they're doing to Russia. I get that the Russians abused the Ukrainians under the Soviet. I get that I wish Ukraine was a sovereign country like Switzerland with a free market to hell with the Russians, to hell with the NATO and the EU. Don't you get that? I know you get that, but some of the folks out there, they're like, well, we better be for this because, you know, I don't like George Soros, but uh, like Cliff Kincaid or whatever his name is, you're claiming I'm a Russian agent. And I guess Ron Paul's a Russian agent now, too. He, he was saying whatever his name is. I think it's Cliff Kincaid. I've had him on the show before, you know, big neocon. I saw it write an article saying I'm, you know, a Ruski agent because I don't want to ha have this new Cold War. I mean, if the Russians were doing something to me, I'd be against them. The communist Chinese government's lobbying domestically to take my guns and stuff and funding Hollywood, and I'm against them. I saw a few anti-gun stories on RT, and I started calling for their license to be jerked. Listen, you mess with me, you tread on me, I come after you. The Russians aren't doing jack squat. George Soros is trying to take my guns. George Soros is trying to start a war with Russia. The guy was a Nazi collaborator when he was 15 years old. I'm sick of him. Both my grandfathers almost died in the Army Air Corps one way or another. I barely even exist because of the World War II and the Nazis. And George Soros was working with him. While my grandfathers were almost dying, that piece of crap was on the ground supporting him. I've had enough of it. And now he wants my guns. How are my grandfathers dead in the grave and George Soros is still running around crapping on everyone? Jerry and George is a veteran. What's your take on all this? Go ahead, Jerry. Hi, Al. Um, I was served in the first 39th during the Cold War. I was stationed in Bomb Horror, Germany, and it's breaking my heart to see our, us going back into this. And people, people are just asleep. I mean, they're completely asleep. They're not paying attention to the news. They don't understand the, the severity of what we're walking into again. And I looked up to see if my old unit was even, even stationed in Germany anymore. It's been dissolved. Half of what we used to have back there we don't have any teeth in Europe anymore. So what, it's like the only options they have is an air war or, or tactical nuclear war, and that's, that's horrifying, too. I mean, just... By the way, oh, seconds ago, Crimea, full vote, 95% to join Russia. And I, I just wish people would... The only way to reach people, I think, is to ask the question, why is Obama, McCain, Kerry, why are they supporting a Nazi government? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's yeah. true. I mean, it really, they, they, everybody says this is Nazi, that's Nazi. The government McCain and them put in is literally a Nazi government. I mean, they are literally Nazis that say Slavs are subhuman. It's, it's, it's insanity. It's total mental illness. God bless you for what you're doing, and I just can't believe it. I can't believe we're going back into this. This is craziness. Well, I mean, here's my deal. The Russians generally in history, and from my study, tell me if I'm wrong, will not attack you unless you attack them. Then they will attack you full power. In 2008, they threatened to nuke NATO, and NATO backed off. What are we going to do if they threaten to nuke again and NATO says do it? I mean, there is nuclear war. All because oh, Obama buddy. wants to put Russian kids in dresses. Hey, Alex, it, if some foreign government came into Puerto Rico and affected their elections and then said, we're now we're the legitimate government. The U.S. would be there tomorrow. And that's that's exactly what we're doing. We have no business over there. And we should be pulling these guys out of office. Whoever, I, I would love it if you would have a campaign with all your Arizona listeners and get McCain out of office. Very well said. Excellent call. Jerry, I'm going to repeat what you said when we came back for everybody. That's a good point. If somebody inv oh, messed with the election, overthrew Puerto Rico, the U.S. military would be there in five minutes. I mean, that's what the Russians are doing. I'm sorry to have to side on, on with the Russians. I mean, 
<laughs> Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship. Care we're about to have war with Russia. Hitler have you seen the, the new guns. Late Show? Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Okay. Fidel Castro took the guns. How many? Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. You're listening to the Sunday edition, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, back weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Find all the affiliate showtimes, free audio video feeds at infowars.com forward slash show or prisonplanet.com and just click on the listen page. You can also see all my films, the nightly news, and more via InfoWarsNews.com. We've got links to our Facebook, over 3 million likes with all the different Facebooks together, one channel, 800,000. And then, of course, we've got our Twitter at RealAlexJones and more. You can follow us there at RealAlexJones. I want to get into the UN takeover and the George Soros takeover of the Internet. That's not my words. That's uh, U.S. to relinquish remaining control over the Internet. That's the Washington Post. And as bad as the U.S. government is, I don't like who's about to get it. It's even worse because they're the folks that run the U.S. government. That's all coming up. But listen, McCain has said they want to give military support to the Ukrainian government that they just funded to overthrow the elected government when the Ukraine wouldn't join the EU to be sucked dry, like Spain and Italy and Greece and so many others, Iceland, the list goes on and on to that economic bondage. And then uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Dempsey, under Obama orders, said, I am ready for military action against Russia upon your order, mein Führer. So all of that is being announced. And a U.S. Predator drone was brought down, shot down by electronic warfare, ordering it to crash from 12,000 feet on Friday. That has hardly been in the U.S. news, though Reuters carried it. So uh, you've got uh, hundreds of thousands of the million-man reserve Ukrainian army massing on the Crimean border that just voted polls closed and the tallying is complete 95 percent vote for the generally Russian held enclave it's been part of Russia for 200 years only recently part of Ukraine since World War II uh, they are now because the Nazis kicked the Russians out of uh, out of Ukraine and then kind of the leftover of the Nazis are now attacking so the Russians uh, have voted to join Russia there in the Russian-held enclave of, of Crimea. And you've got all these other referendums the West supports, dozens of them. But they do not support a breakaway here. I mean, Venice is voting to break away from Italy. Uh, Scotland's voted to break away from the UK. Uh, Catalonia's voting to break away from Spain. I mean, there's a whole bunch of examples of this. You're not hearing about military action. We had a caller earlier, a veteran call in, who made the point, that imagine if a foreign power, the Russians per se, had financed a political takeover of uh, Puerto Rico, you would see the U.S. military there not leaving its bases. 
And that's what Russia's done. I'm not, never been to Russia, don't have a drop of Russian blood in me, folks. So I'm not siding with Russia. But the globalists run America and NATO and the EU, they're starting the fight. And this could really get explosive. I want to hurry through your calls. We got Mike and Cole and Stephen and Victor and Daniel and Todd and Jason and Mark and Steve, all veterans. Give your quick point, please. I'll go to the next person. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you disagree, tell me how I'm wrong. Because I've got to be honest. I mean, if they were trying to put in some Swiss-style government that was pro-gun, pro-liberty, uh, kick the bankers out, I'd say, okay, I don't kind of like it, but okay, yeah, Russia shouldn't influence. I mean, I want free countries out there. But this is the globalists coming in to set up an EU tyranny there. So th that's my issue. And now we're getting a new Cold War out of it? We're bankrupt, folks. Obama wants a political distraction. The EU's unpopular. They want a new distraction. That's why they want to start this new Cold War. And Putin likes it. Putin's approval rating's exploding. That's in AP. I read that earlier. So there's my geopolitical analysis. This is bad for people. We don't want a new Cold War, folks. We're bankrupt. Mike in California. Am I wrong? What's your take? No, man, you're absolutely right about everything that you're talking about. Um, it feels like they've changed the timetable on us with all of the things that they're pushing out there. Obamacare, legalizing illegals, they're flushing the system, absolutely flushing the system. And this might be going along with that. One thing I want, I want to make this quick is I know you've got a lot of callers you're going to get to, and I want to let you do your wonderful job, sir. But please. You had Wolfgang Halbig on recently. That is the fight we need you on, brother. Please go up there with that man. Work with him. Organize. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. But we're on the topic of Ukraine. We had we had the former state police and top school safety expert on. He runs a big company that you know advises colleges, you name it, saying Sandy Hook was totally fake, and he's about to file suit over it. Uh, and of course, it was obviously fake. I just don't know how much of it was fake. They had green screens, actors. I mean, I can't believe how bold this government is, how illegitimate it is. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Jason in Florida, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Alex. Uh, after I got out of the Army, I worked about 10 years in Ukraine. And, well, Kiev, I worked about a year and a half and then worked uh, another little over seven and a half years in uh, Russia for an aerospace company. Um, I think a lot of people aren't understanding, you know, there's a, there's a lot of animosity between the Russians and the Western Ukrainians that we, we kind of don't understand. It goes back to World War II. Well, it goes back um, before that when Stalin starved 10 million of them. Uh, yes, exactly. Exactly. And then uh, with the Western Ukrainians helping the Nazis during World War II. So there's a dynamic there that I think a lot of Americans aren't understanding. Um, also, I, I mean... The, the Crimean thing. The Russians, I mean, Putin's not going to give this up. The Russians aren't going to give this up. They fought the British, they fought the French and the Turkish to a standstill in a war in the 1850s over this place. That's right. No, no, they, I mean, the Russians have fought eight different wars. I was looking it up in the last 400 years over the Crimea. I mean, this is the war zone. Yes, sir. And uh, what's scare? I mean, what's scaring the hell out of me is I have a wife who's eight months pregnant, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, uh, we've got some really arrogant. And this is firsthand experience. Really arrogant, really incompetent people working in our intelligence community that are pretty much just yes men and yes women. Yeah, they run around uh, playing uh, the part of James Bond, but they don't put in the hours exactly. Exactly, I, and I mean, I come, I come from a very poor uh, coal mining family from from mountains east Tennessee. Uh, you know, we're as tough as we as tough as they come, and these people over here in Russia. Uh, you know, they're no slouches. Uh, they're pretty tough. I can tell you from, again, almost a decade of living with them and uh, being in their country. They're as tough as they come, and they're really smart. And what really scares me right now is Putin. He's no idiot. This guy is a master chess player. He's not going to let the United States or NATO build up uh, a force that's capable of uh, busting down the conventional Russian army. He spent too much time building it up in the early 2000s after he took over from uh, Yeltsin. Oh, that's uh, right. They put him in because yeah. they've decided to go with the new Tsarist model. He's their new strong man. He's their figurehead. They're totally committed. And again, the globalists don't want any sovereign countries. They don't want a strong America either. And so they're going the way of John Wayne over there. We're going the way of Obama wanting to put five-year-old schoolboys in dresses. And, and I mean, literally, I mean, it, 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 we are losing the moral high ground worldwide. Anything else?
It's scarier than that. I mean, uh, you know, people remember back right before the Georgian invasion. I mean, they changed the, you know, Russia changed the doctrine on the use of uh, nuclear weapons.